Good day everyone, your Sock Monkey here. Today I've got a video for you of a GMC Yukon Denali 2500. Now, uh, starting off right away, what I can tell you is the difference between the 2500 and the 30 and the 1500 uh, is, first of all, you do have these um, marker lights on the top. Um, and then uh, with this vehicle, you do have uh, uh, sealed beam headlamps, fogs down below. You do have tow hooks on the vehicle. Those are your, that's your front uh, bumper bracket right there for your uh, license plate. Chrome uh, encapsulating with the GMC badge. Um, now, this vehicle, I believe, it's either got the 6 liter V8 or the 8.1. I will be sure to put that in the uh, video description um, when I get a chance to actually, um, I didn't really get a chance to look at their website, um, but you do have these nice chrome wheels on the vehicle. And then very handy to get inside, inside of a large SUV like this, you do have uh, side steps and then has a blind spot mirror and then these uh, very handy um, side marker indicators, turn signal repeaters that are in the mirrors. And then the mirrors are color uh, color keyed with uh, some nice uh, uh, black finishing. Inside of this model, you do have a uh, leather interior. There is a center, there is an overhead console on the vehicle which has rear air vents. That antenna right there is for your OnStar. Uh, the vehicle also comes equipped with a roof rack. And then you, this is an eight passenger vehicle. I believe that you could have gotten um, captain's chairs in the back as well. And then as you can see, you do have sizable center console in between the two front seats with what looks to be audio controls. This is an SLT, so it's a top level trim, and it does have quadra steer. Now, quadra steer is a four wheel steering system. Uh, it's more well known for sports cars to have four wheel steering, but this is actually very useful if you're um, backing in tight spaces with towing a trailer. Um, and then I'm not sure if these were added at the fact that these are factory or not, but you do have these nice fender flares with these. Um, marker lights on them to kind of give it the appearance that it's a dually truck when it's actually um when it's actually just a single rear wheel um here's your fuel door and then the rear seat on this model is oh it's not folded back here's the third row seat And then it looks like it does have a tunnel, it does have a rear uh, cover. Um, coming to the back of the Yukon XL, uh, this does have the split gate design. You could have gotten the, you could have gotten the uh, Yukon XL and the, um, also the Chevy Suburban uh, in a barn door configuration where the two doors are cut split in the middle. But this is, this is still very nice. It does have a button this button here opens that tailgate, opens the glass, and then this uh, lever here opens up the, opens it up as one big door. Underneath this panel, you do have uh, your trailer wiring controls, your license plate lights, and then you do have a tow hitch, GMC of course, and then of course your, your turn signals and lights. Everything of course on this side of the vehicle follows through. SLT quadra steer. As I said, looks like you do have some air controls and some rear uh, stereo controls. Everything, of course, here on this side of the vehicle falls through. You do have your CD player controls, your automatic climate controls, various other switches and buttons. This is very nicely. This is very nicely trimmed. Um, so I thank you guys for watching and take care.